fam. I hear tell that you are a big Octavia Spencer fan. Uh, sure. Big time. Okay. Massive fan. Sure. Posters all over the wall. No. T-shirts. No. Lunchbox thermos backpack. No. Octavia Spencer fan. No. Article up by Nico Mann. Two ends. Octavia Spencer is speaking out about the pay disparity in Hollywood, mm -hmm. according to The Hollywood Reporter. Spencer is starring in an Apple TV television series called Truth Be Told. Do you remember the, the Apple TV joint that uh, Maya Rudolph has? Yeah. Remember that show? Um, that shit's dope. Yeah, I'm gonna look hmm. at more of these damn Apple TV shows. It probably has some more good comedy for me. You're finding it? Yeah, I was looking yeah. for the Maya Rudolph. I was actually started looking for something else. Loot. Ah, loot. Yeah, folks, if you use the Apple TV, look up Maya Rudolph's loot as well. And I'm also going to check out this Octavia Spencer joint myself. Uh, they tell us the Oscar-winning actress has spoke to the outlet days after she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and noted how grateful she was to be working as an actress in the entertainment industry, saying, quote, this is not something to be taken for granted. There are things that you dream for yourself and things that you can't imagine. End quote. See, Octavia Spencer won an Academy Award for the 2011 role in the film The Help. Mm -hmm. However, uh, she noted there is still a disparity in pay when it comes to black actresses versus white actors in the industry. Quote, she says, I'm an egalitarian, period. Good. Women and women of color have always lagged. When they start casting in movies, they put all the money on the whole or black male leads. They come to you when they've given out all the dollars and they only have cents. I don't need you to tell me how much you love me and how much you want to work with me. That's not going to put my nieces and nephews through Harvard. Love is not going to take care of my godkids. So I've always been a proponent of making sure that there's equal pay. It's still not equal, but it's certainly getting better. Yeah, I want to look up Octavia Spencer's age. Yeah, no, I actually agree with everything she said. Um, unfortunately, I know it's not going to be received well because of misogyny and racism. Oh, it's almost like intersectionality matters. But, yeah, she's um, way too fat and dark-skinned to be talking all this mm -hmm. shit. Don't you dare, woman. Mm -hmm. 52. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. she's that black Gen X. Mm -hmm. She is of the age group of black people that made me watch my credit score. Yes. Like, <laughs> I know that game she's spitting. As you said, love doesn't pay the bills. I said, sounds like somebody's auntie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Because you think like a lot of these uh, the gangster rappers from the 90s are the same age as her right now. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget, I was a teenager looking at Mac 10 on um, BET's Live from LA when it was hosted by John Sally. Uh, he's a, an athletic figure, well respected, mm -hmm. I think. And, um, and, was, and they were asking Mac 10 about like, you know, how do you uh, balance the business and the art? And he was like, man, look, I can't go to my landlord and say, I love music. And like by those words, yeah, rappers used to give great interviews. Yeah, believe it. Speaking of the whole, um, like work for us for free, we'll give you exposure. I can't pay my rent with exposure. Thank you. No. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I was trying to look up Dave Bautista. You know the wrestler; he's an actor now. Yes. Uh, I thought I had heard a story about him on one of his movies where he found out his female uh, co-stars were getting paid less than him, and so he like basically protested with them so that they all got paid the same. But I couldn't find the story fast enough. I did, however, find him saying that uh, men need to man the fuck up about Roe versus Wade and start talking to help women, and also said. Um, if it's pride, if you don't like pride, fuck you. Because his mom's a lesbian. He is a very... He, and he was a Bernie bro. I like Dave Bautista. <laughs> I fucking do. But yeah, I wish I could have found that article because it was actually like a good show of solidarity and also like really showing um, the gaps and how, you know, gender and race impact what you make in Hollywood. Yeah. And ever else, really. Yeah, Octavia Spencer's fucking smart. Uh moving forward. And, and like, and it could look like, oh, somebody would be like, oh, that's bougie put through Harvard. And it's like... We're in a fucked up system where you gotta make as much money as you fucking can yeah. under these damn billionaires and mega millionaires. Mm -hmm. Like, niggas is just trying to be high thousandaires. Yeah. Right? I've never, um, 
I've never seen like it could scroll on down my news feed Octavia Spencer in Forbes. Yeah. And I haven't seen that one. Uh, they further tell us uh, Spencer and actress Jessica Chastain uh, made okay. headlines in two. Okay, you know this individual. Oh, uh, I believe Jessica Chastain. Um, uh, she's she's a redhead. I believe she was in that Ava movie uh, where she plays like an assassin. And then I believe she was also the in It, the second one. Um, she was the grown up Bev. I think that was okay. Jessica Chastain. Yeah, I think. It's going to be really embarrassing if that was not Jessica Chastain, though. <laughs> <laughs> they made headlines together in 2018, and they, um, the folks over here at Atlanta Black Star, they also have a, um, another article recalling that where Jada Pinkett uh, talks about Jessica Chastain helping Octavia Spencer get paid more. And it was, um, <clears throat> it was when they received a five times their initial salary uh, when, when the women received five times their initial salary after Chastain tied Spencer's pay to her own deal for an untitled holiday project the women were working on, Spencer praised Chastain for being a true advocate, but advocate, listen to me, uh, but noted there is still a disparity in the pay scale. When asked what advice she'd give the other actors in negotiating pay, she said to always get more than the initial offer. Quote, you should always get more money than they're offering you. I always get a raise, so start there. It's not about turning down work. It's about understanding your value. How many more years am I going to be running around on sets? I want the same respect and pay that they are offering my white counterparts. Yeah. All right. Octavia Spencer. And, that's, and I guarantee, like, a lot of the bad publicity about this is going to be from people of the ruling class who are like, don't tell workers to know their value. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we made uh -huh. you rich enough, nigga. Right? Like, this, so, somebody just fucking, like, sent her a bobblehead of Oprah that says you're never going to make her money now. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be surprised, honestly. Fucking mafia. 